it's great to finally be here to be able to explore the Dolomites to explore Lavaredo Ultra Trail because it's just spectacular out there the views in every single direction are just absolutely stunning. These cliff faces, these towers of rock are just so impressive. You can't quite get the scale of them until you're standing underneath them. Climb a bit, and then now it's gonna get run of you down for a bit. This is a race that I've really thought about for a long time, I've really, really wanted to do. I've been really impressed with the mountains from what I've seen over the past few days. I've been catching up with my friend, Scotty Hawker. Uh, with Scotty, we've been out on the course the past few days. How many times have you been out here? Like... Oh, this is a six year. Keep coming back. Yeah, I can definitely understand that for sure. I mean, check these views out, just unreal. In every direction, these mountains are just something else. All right, that's a wrap on the easy recce run. Unreal. Not bad at all. Cheers, guy. Yeah, it's just a shame in the race. If everything goes to plan, we're going up there in the middle of the night. So hopefully we'll have some good moonlight. We'll be able to check it out, but it's just unreal. It's so beautiful. The trail is just incredible. This is a race I found out about maybe three, four years ago um, when I was watching an old trail world tour video on YouTube, which is when I first found out about the tour. And yeah, Lavaredo was one that definitely stood out for me then. From, from what I saw in that YouTube video, which never, you know, videos, photos, never pay kind of true respect to the mountain ranges or the views or the experience of actually being in a place. But even then it kind of captivated me. It's funny actually, I was actually watching Sky within that YouTube video. Um, he's one of the leaders at the time. Devant Scotta au coeur, pas au capel, et le Suédois, Jonas Bull. So it's been quite a fun journey, really. Thinking that when I started Ultras, yeah, I was definitely, like everyone, you know, really intrigued by sport. Um, definitely kind of looked to the elites for inspiration to then be at this race and be kind of I guess one of the elite runners within the field. Um, it's quite funny to be up against and running with some of the guys um, that I probably watched, you know, along on those YouTube videos. And uh, yeah, definitely looked up to, you know, we all look up to um, those that inspire us. I'm excited to get amongst it, to see how I can do within the race and definitely here to give it my best, to give it everything I've got and uh, really see how far up the field I can get. So I'm excited to be here and can't wait for the race. Can't wait for that start line. Typically with this race, you usually have to have quite a lot of mandatory gear uh, because we've had this kind of heat wave at the moment for this. Now they've actually cut the mandatory gear down, which is great. So you don't have to carry all that stuff around for no reason. Um, so yeah, just got packing my gear together, just making sure, double checking, I've got everything. I'm psyched, I'm ready. It's now coming up to around 3 p.m. So I'm probably gonna try and relax now and maybe have a three hour nap if I can. And that's what I did for Penny Aglossa. That's what I've done for my night races in the past and it really works for me. So I've had a big long sleep last night. And I think I was in bed for only 12 hours, which is unheard of for me. So hopefully I'll be able to have a little bit of a lie down now, a bit of a nap, and then I should be feeling pretty good to go. Yeah, come 11 p.m. Two minutes to go. Another day of incredible views so far. I've only ran two minutes and it's just unreal on these perfect trails. Super happy to be here and it's busy now Tuesday, race on Friday. So yeah, trying to take it easy, not get too excited out here, but it's pretty hard to do when you've got incredible mountains and peaks like this everywhere. Woo Just unreal. 
be able to run in the mountains like this, something really special. I'm getting really excited for race day now. Legs are feeling good, body's feeling strong. It's Tuesday, so I've got Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday night to set off. So just some two more chilled runs, hopefully, and uh, not get too carried away, which is harder, easier said than done in somewhere like this. But yeah, I've got to be sensible until race day now. And yeah, let's keep the strength building and then let it rip. Okay, I'm good. Moving well. Just there, uh, yeah. I need to try and catch up with them and run with them, I think. Being destroyed by everyone else's as well. It's super hot now. This last 20k is really exposed as well, so. I've had a bit of a funny stomach the past 20k, really struggled to get food and water in. Yeah, I feel like if I can force something in there, it'll help a bit. But the, uh, that, that section was so beautiful, it's unreal. It was so tough. Uh, yeah, that last 20 kilometers is just all exposed and a lot more climbing than you realize from looking at the profile, really steep section from Passage Isle. Um, but yeah, I gave everything I had on the day and just had to slow right down, jump in a few streams, try and cool off. But yeah, seventh place overall, so I'm really happy with that. In an Ultra Trail World Tour race, I can't complain at all. So uh, yeah, everyone was struggling out there, but everyone did fantastic. So really hope all the runners out there being safe and cooling down. And uh, yeah, but this is just a mind blowing race. The scenery was so spectacular. Um, I need to visit it all again at a slower pace, I think. And anyway, right now, just lots of water for me and trying to uh, cool down. He's the king of La Sportiva La Varadol de Brecci 2019. He's coming from the United States. 12 hours, 18 minutes, 47 seconds. Four. It's always a phenomenal experience to be racing in an Ultra Trail World Tour race um, with so many athletes from across the world who are all at the top of their game. You know, we have a big field of runners there from China, America, um, Europe, obviously, Italy. So it's really, really happy with the results. Come seventh overall amongst some of those guys who are really, um, yeah, superstars of the sport. Even if it didn't quite have the race, it didn't pan out quite as strong as I wanted it to. It was really great to be able to still keep moving forward, keep working hard when the time got tough and come away last seventh place. Congratulations to you! You know, there was a lot of doubts within my head at some parts within the race where maybe I thought that this could be my first DNF for a race and um, that's how bad I was feeling at some stages. But it just goes to show that you kind of have to work through the process sometimes and just keep putting one foot in front of the other, keep taking those steps forward and keep that momentum, keep looking forward to that next aid station and then you can try to revive yourself again, um, which is certainly what I was looking forward to at part of those stages within the race. So Lavaredo, certainly a race I want to return to, absolutely spectacular part of the world, just so stunning, so beautiful. The mountains were like a dream on some of those sections. Even when I was at the lowest of lows within the race, and I was really hurting, I was dehydrated, I was starving, you know, I didn't have enough nutrition on me at the time. I was just 
absolutely blown away with just the magnificence of the area. So definitely can see myself returning to Labrador again. Maybe it'll be next year, if not certainly the year after that. I definitely think I can perform a lot better on this course. I know there's stretches of that course which I just didn't do justice to with my fitness and where my fitness can be. So unfinished business at Lavaredo. Definitely going to return to that part of the world again for Lavaredo Ultra Trail. So I'm in Chamonix now. Very excited for UTMB ahead. Obviously a big challenge. So lots of training on the mountains, lots of vertical, lots of distance to run and lots of time wrecking in the course, which I think is going to be really valuable going into a race, which is obviously as long as it is and as much climbing as it has as well. And hopefully we'll have good weather this year, but I'm here to train in all conditions, all times of the day, get the training in for UTMB. So big challenge ahead and let's get ready for that big goal.